Hello everyone, my name is Tyler, and this week I'll be finishing up particle system curves in Unity, and I'll be giving a brief introduction into particle system hierarchies. Um, I'll be going a bit more in-depth on those in another video, but I'll briefly talk about them in this video. So, um, I've replicated the starting particle effect from the last video in this video, which is basically, I've uh, the differences from the default particle system that is, uh, is that I've nullified uh, the starting rotation, and I've created a basic point emitter or a sphere with a very small radius, and I've set the start speed to zero just so we can see what we're the effects of what we're doing in the particle system curves window. Uh, so without further ado, let's begin. Um, in last week's video, I talked a little bit about particle curve presets, um, but I didn't exactly explain how you would create your own and why you would use them. So um, I'm going to start off with that. Um, let me uh, just basically just want to work with one axis here uh, and then I'll just change this so we can see a little bit more clearly what's going on. So Unity gives you a bunch of different presets for curves uh, down here which um, are pretty handy. They um, um, handle a bunch of different situations that you would want to use for curves. They have uh, smooth curves, linear curves, um, a whole bunch of different curves, but if you want to have something very specific and you don't want to keep recreating it over and over again for every particle system that you make, um, you can basically save your preset. So let's make something that we want to, want to save right now. Uh, I'm going to add a key and then put it as close to the middle as possible by just clicking and dragging the key and then right clicking to uh, add a key. And then I'll just drag these down here. And um, this effect is similar to the last video where um, the particles are starting here and then they're just moving uh, back and forth and then they'll just die in the middle again. Um, so if we want to save this, um, we'll just click on the button over here and then click on new. Um, and then whenever you click on one of these presets, um, it'll change the particle system curve to match that. If you ever want to delete them, uh, you can just right click it and delete or you can move them around if you, are, if you know you're going to access them a lot more. Um, so next I'm going to kind of show you where um, you would use the particle system curves or where you can use the particle system curves rather and then I'm going to be showing you a couple of uh, the places that you can use them down here not that I'm going to, I'm going to explain these in the, I am going to explain these in later videos but I just wanted to show you that you can use curves for these um, just so you can keep that in mind when we're um, going over them in later videos. Uh, but the first um, places you can use them are is start lifetime, speed, size, and rotation. And again, you can um, access the curve system by um, basically just clicking on the little arrow over here, and then um, curve and then random between two curves is available to you there. Uh, the next place is, of course, velocity over lifetime, and then um, the next places are limit velocity over lifetime, force over lifetime, um, size over lifetime, size by speed, rotation over lifetime, rotation by speed, and then lastly texture sheet animation. Um, and you can uh, basically access the curves by either either directly over here because it's the default or you can access it through the little black arrow over here. Um, so as you can see there's a lot of different places where you can use particle system curves and that's why I went over them a little bit earlier um, in the tutorial series because they're very handy and the more practice you can get with them uh, the, better, the better your particles will look so that's pretty cool. Um, the last thing that I wanted to go over for particle system curves is different ways of manipulating the keys. Um, you can again uh, move them around by just left clicking and then dragging and then just moving, moving them around in the graph or you can manipulate um, the specific curves by kind of clicking and dragging these two little knobs here. Um, you can access different ways of manipulating these curves um, by right clicking the key and then there's a, there's a bunch of options here. We're in free smooth right now and that basically means that if you um, click and hold one of these um, the curve will be manipulated uh, for both sides instead of just the side that you're uh, clicking and dragging. So if you've ever used uh, the pen tool in Illustrator or Photoshop before, this will be um, pretty familiar. Um, so right now we're in free smooth. Uh, auto basically means that Unity will do the curve manipulation for you, so you can do that if you want. Uh, flat will basically just return the curve to its uh, default state. 
and broken basically splits the two curves so if you manipulate one of them the other uh, curve won't be uh, affected which is pretty neat um, let me just restructure it right there and then lastly there's a couple other presets that uh, unity has you um, that unity has that you can use um, the first one is free which is basically what we've been doing the entire time um, except it's a uh, preset is also broken so you can manipulate one side um, the next one is linear and that's basically a slight curve to a more or less uh, linear line according to where your key is uh, let's see then the last one is uh, constant and what that means is it'll basically have flat lines uh, determined by where you put your key um, so depending on if you se select left or right tangent or both tangents it'll affect either one to one the other side of the curve or both sides of the curve um, so that's basically it for particle system curves um, now for a brief introduction on particle system hierarchies and what they are and why you would use them. Um, so particle system hierarchies are basically groups of particle systems that are representing an effect that you normally wouldn't be able to represent by just using one particle system. Um, so they're pretty easy um, to create in Unity. You can basically just click and drag a particle system onto another. And as you can see already, both particle systems are playing at once. Um, and that's basically what particle hierarchies are. They're groups of particle systems represented in a hierarchy with uh, parent and children. Um, that's all I have time for in this video. I'll be going a little bit more in depth in the next video, but if you have any questions, feel free to put a comment down below and I'll answer them to the best of my ability. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week.